And having heard from our good client, let's welcome our next good contestant. Will you come in, sir? <laughs> you tell our panel, please, what your name is and where you're from. I'm Paul Goodman. I attend Bethel College in St. Paul, Minnesota. Paul Goodman of Bethel College in St. Paul. Now, Paul, if you'll whisper your secret to me, we'll show it at the same time to our audience at home. <laughs> Wait, there's more. Tell, tell me the rest of it. All right. Panel, Mr. Goodman's secret concern involves something he did to win a contest. And we'll start the question with Henry, if you don't mind, Henry. And if I do? <laughs> then we'll start with Pat. <laughs> I don't mind. Mr. Goodman. St. Paul, was it, let's see, they do a lot of winter sports there. Does it have anything to do with winter sports? No. Oh, bless me. Um, a lot of lakes around there. Water sports? No. Were you indoors when you won this thing? Yes, partially. Partially indoors. Largely, largely an indoor uh, achievement, but some of it was outdoors, right? Right. I hope you were in motion at the time. <laughs> Well, the picture of part in and part out is... Uh, <laughs> uh, was this um, essentially a physical thing you were doing? I would say it was essentially a physical thing, although it took a lot of, it took a lot of advanced figuring to, uh, to accomplish it, but the accomplishment itself is largely physical. Would you agree with that? I'll agree with that. All right, $20 down, $60 to go. We go to best, please. Paul, would we consider this a college boy's prank? Mm, no, I not really. As opposed to something that was quite serious. Well, it was extracurricular. Let's put it that way. But it doesn't come. Uh, it doesn't come under the heading of you know, uh, like stuffing twenty-seven boys into a phone booth or. No. But there's been a contest <laughs> recently going on among the college boys about staying awake for a very long period of time. Is it anything like that? No. No. But this. Forty dollars down and forty dollars to go, and we go please to Bill Cullen. I had the perfect answer until you said it wasn't the phone booth bit, uh, Gary. <laughs> What? Uh, it, no, I thought it was the phone booth, perhaps, you know, <laughs> stuffing the twain. I do feel I should call attention to the fact now, uh, having uh, looked at Paul, that he is the spitting image of me when I was his age. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> <laughs> All I can say to you, Paul, is you have my sympathy. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, was this the kind of title you're pleased to have? The thing Dorian Gray. <laughs> <laughs> Have my <laughs> <laughs> this was uh, it, it, this title that you uh, received for doing this. Are you proud of it? Is the kind of thing that you'll be pleased to tell your grandchildren about? Yes, it won't bother me. Does it have it? <laughs> Sixty dollars <laughs> twenty dollars to go. And we go please to Betsy. Paul, was this title given to you by uh, women? No. It was given to you by men. Yes. Your fellow collegians? No. Ah, it was done outside of school then. Yes. It was done in your hometown, St. Paul? In St. Paul, but St. Paul is not, not my hometown. Not in your hometown. Uh, it was done for a, um, an athletic group? No. Well, panel, as you will soon see, this is a very enterprising young man indeed. He recently entered and won a cookie baking contest. Oh, but now what makes it unusual is not the fact that he is a man and that he won the contest, or even that his recipe was particularly different or new or tasty. Uh, the contest was based on the size of the cookie. So if we open the curtains, you will understand why his winning entry tips the scales at a light and fluffy 2,300 pounds. What? There's his cookie. The contest was sponsored by radio station KDWB in Minneapolis. What were, what were the rules of the contest? They offered $1.63 a pound for the biggest cookie, and this one won. $1.63 a pound is what they paid you, huh? Now, tell us, when I say it's enterprising, I'm not kidding. Tell us how you managed to finance this. Well, I didn't have the money myself, so we sold shares to the uh, fellow students at $1 a dollar a share and raised $250 to buy the ingredients. It cost $250 for the, for the ingredients. But you were getting back $1.63 a pound. Right. All right. Now then, uh, tell us about the ingredients. Well, uh, the recipe is a very simple one to follow. We used 1,010 1, pounds of General Mills Institutional Cookie Mix. We used 750 pounds of powdered sugar, 175 pounds of shortening, 250 pounds of miscellaneous ingredients, 
and then there was a, a dash of salt. Just a pinch. <laughs> Not too much, just a pinch of salt. How did you go about cooking it? Well, we baked it in uh, large ovens at 18 by 24 by a half inch high squares that weighed five pounds a piece. There were about 220 of these. Oh, boy. Then how'd you get it all put together? Well, we put it together on the back of a truck. <laughs> on the back of a truck and took it to the contest that way, huh? Right. <laughs> It's really, I haven't tasted it. It looks great, though. May I take a piece? Certainly. A little piece broken off there. Mm -hmm. It's been around <laughs> a little bit, but... Uh, <laughs> I mean, it isn't exactly brand new, is what I'm trying to say. But um, the, taste, the taste is there. What are you going to do with it? Well, since it isn't edible anymore... <laughs> Why isn't it edible? It's been around a long time. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dirty now, all you can do is eat it. <laughs> So what are you going to do with it? I really don't know what they're going to do with it. It's not mine anymore. Oh, they're going to keep it? I guess so. Don't leave it in the theater, will you? <laughs> I promise. 2,300 pounds of cake is too much even for us. Young man, I admire your enterprise. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you.